So Joe, we're here in Breathitt County and it looks like we're doing bulldozer racing, but that's not exactly what's going on, is it? No, we're doing a relatively new technique out here called brush chaining. We're taking two big dozers and pulling an anchor chain across the ground to try and kill some of this autumn olive. Now we're not talking about a chain you may have lying around the house. This is a massive chain that was donated by Ingram Barge Company, correct? That's correct. It's a two inch anchor chain. All told, it's 360 foot and 18,000 pounds. Stephen Doby with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Tell me what you guys are doing here today. One of the things we do um, year in and year out is try to fund and support these habitat projects to do stewardship on the ground to make a difference for elk, for other wildlife. And so that's what we're here doing today. So it takes two bulldozers and the idea is that you just drag the chain and remove some of the undesirable plants here that may be killing some of the species that we want to grow up for elk and other species of wildlife. That's correct, autumn olive, it's really not that desirable. It's a non-native and there's definitely a lot better things that we could have here. And you'll see it makes a monoculture and shades out everything so that's all it becomes. It's just a massive stand. It's a very aggressive species. It can overtake this open meadow field habitat really quickly. When this plant gets really big, it outcompetes, right? It outcompetes everything to the point where the understory would be non-existent. And if it's really thick, it can even be just bare dirt on the ground. The autumn olive is so thick, there's no fuel underneath it to burn, right? That's correct. We can't manage any of this by fire. And hopefully we can remove enough of it, reseed, carry flame through it, manage it with fire in the future so that we don't have this issue moving forward. We're at an elk viewing location. It's not easy to see elk when they get in here either, is it? No, no, <laughs> not anymore. This is a relatively short amount of time. This is about five years on some of this. Uh, you can see how quickly you can overtake an area and choke it out. Dragging this chain around is something that's done out west some, right? It is. You've been out west with the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation over the last couple of years. Thought maybe this has a chance to work here in Kentucky as well. Topography is a limiting factor mm -hmm. because it slows things down when you have mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get onto some of these other properties, you could really make an impact quickly. This could be a way that you could effectively treat large amounts of property. It is. We're here in the beginning of March. This time of year is perfect for doing this for a couple reasons, right? Yep, we needed to get the work done early enough so I could still get some good seed in. We're not affecting any potential users of the area right now. There's no hunting seasons. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing up anybody's nice deer hunt right now or elk hunt by coming in with bulldozers. So uh, it's a good time of year for different uses of the property. There's also not a lot of young of the year out here utilizing this right now either. If you're going to use a method of just thrashing unwanted trees, there could be bird's nests in here, but this time of year you don't have any of that. No, nothing to worry about. Plus it's kind of damp. It's kind of damp. It's good. The soil moisture is pretty high, so it makes it easier to uproot some of these autumn olives. You have to have a way to disturb the plant or the root system. Yes. And that's what the hopes is with 18,000 pound chain that you just bring it through and just destroy it. These out of all of are real resilient. The smaller trees, what we've seen is, is the chain actually just drags over it. Mm -hmm. It's able to just skirt over the top and the tree pops back up. Mm -hmm. That's obviously not what we want. So what we found is oftentimes it takes multiple passes in opposite mm -hmm. directions. Mm -hmm. uh, and if it doesn't pull it up, a lot of times you'll see they don't necessarily come all the way out of the earth, but it disrupts the bark system or pull the root system up enough that mortality rates will be higher. It's really pretty cool watching too. When you see a dozer go through towing a chain like that, just destroying anything in its path as far as trees. And this can be beautiful pasture land, hopefully here in a year or two. That's the plan, right? That's the plan. Try and set it back, have a nice grassland areas, better viewing opportunities, better hunting opportunities. It's really interesting too, because it was dozers and earth movers that really came in and disturbed the landscape. And <laughs> now we're using dozers and a massive chain to make it more suitable for wildlife. That's correct. This would be a rather costly project for the Department of Fish and Wildlife to undertake, but with Ingram Barge donating the chain and Rocky Mountain Oak Foundation donating the bulldozers, you can manage large amounts of property without chemically spraying it all. Yeah, we're trying to get the maximum amount of benefit for the least cost and least manpower. 
what it boils down to oftentimes is just finding that right tool in your toolbox. And this gives us one more. I think once we get rid of some of this autumn olive, improve the habitat a little better, it will be uh, once again a, a nice place to come and see elk. It is exciting to get to do something new like this and it's all work in progress. It looks to be working pretty well. You can tell a major difference on what they've done and what they haven't got to yet. I'm pleased so far. We've got a little more time we can put into it and evaluate our success, but I'm excited. Hopefully what we learn here we can take to other states, especially here in the southern Appalachians. Yeah.